Messi. Oh, what a goal it is! Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Bola Bola Show podcast. It's me, Sivan. And once again, I'm joined by my two co-hosts, buddy. First and foremost, Bala, how's it going? So I, feel- I heard, heard today you finally had your vaccination. Yeah, I'm able to get a vaccination today at the uh, what, Satya City. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, everything was smooth. Uh, I uh, suggest everybody take uh, vaccine. And Lindu ni lah anda dan Lindu ni anda keluar juga. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, see almost, you idea. almost got it. Okay. Almost, <laughs> got it. Yeah, almost there. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, how's things there? Okay, okay. Things here. Okay. I'm still waiting for my shot. So mine, mine is only going to happen uh, in uh, one month's time. So I have to lindungi sendiri first lah, not to go out and <laughs> and all that lah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically, guys, you know, today on our show. We have a special guest, uh, you know, hmm. he has been on our show before, back wow. in September last year, where hmm. we spoke about his career with our national team, and in particular, you know, the hot topic on youth development and the NFDP. So, you know, uh, for, for our listeners out there, please do check out that episode on our website, uh, www.bolabola.my, to listen to that previous recording. But as for today... The Bola Bola Show welcomes the one and the only Mr. Lim Tiong Kim. Hello, Tiong Kim. Hello, my friends. Hello, hello. How are you all, man? Yeah, yeah doing fine. How are all you, fine, sir? All, fine. All, all are good. All are good. I am good as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Only the weather is not uh, that good today. It, it, it is uh, strong wind, strong rain. And yesterday it was a uh, hail, hail, hail storm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. hailstorm okay. is something uh, you know very very rarely we we face over here. So does it like uh, cause damage to properties? And oh, all yes. That? Huh? oh yes, oh yes, oh yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I could imagine. Yeah, yeah. you you need to yeah. be careful, uh, when you go out also. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, I I I I was glad that uh, I was at home yesterday. Yeah, and and the 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 the, the, the hailstorm. Uh, the ice is as big as a 50 cent coin. Yeah. Mm. It's huge. Mm. Yes. It damaged a lot of uh, uh, plantation and also uh, especially uh, fruit trees. Right now it is a uh, uh, month of June. So uh, a lot of um, uh, fruit trees are destroyed. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I, so I, I actually would... caused a lot of damage. Yeah, I would think yeah. so. But 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 for for example, on a very hot day, and if that happens, uh, I guess you just need to bring out your cup and put it out and get some free ice cube or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you can stand, you can stand uh, the the heating of the the hailstorm. Then uh, well, you well, can carry on doing it. Then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Did you uh, I, today I had mine. Oh, yes, okay. I am vaccinated today and uh, with uh, with uh, BioNTech, and uh, my next one is on the fifth of uh, August. Mm. Everything is okay right now at the moment, so I don't know. Maybe drop dead after after talking to all of you. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Maybe no, no, become no, no. a health <laughs> <alcohol. laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you never know. Never know. Yeah. Yeah, but then at least, at least, at least, if, before I drop dead, at least you can talk to me. You see, yeah. So, <laughs> we we so, wish you for a long life. So anyway, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, coach, I think uh, you've been uh, I'm sure you've been watching a lot of uh, football lately, right now. Oh so, yeah. Uh, what's your take oh, yes. on? I mean, oh. just a quick, just a just a quick one here. I mean, what's your take on uh, Germany yeah. in this Euro? Do you think they can win it or how? Well, if they play with more more courage. And uh, with a proper proper striker, I think they have a good chance. Uh, when they played against uh, uh, France, they were a bit uh, cautious, actually too cautious. And uh, you know, there's too many many square passes, back passes, square passes, back passes. So so. Um, 
and France was uh, defending quite deep. So it was quite difficult for them to penetrate. And by playing square passes, back passes, that will, you, that will give the fr French team more, more time to get organized. Whereas against uh, Portugal, you could see it was totally different uh, way of playing where they are more, more offensive and with more courage, you know. So the game was different. You could see that uh, they were really going out and uh, to win the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if they keep on playing this way, and I'm sure they will have a, a good chance to to be in the final or maybe in the semi-final, I would say. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I've been seeing all the, all the games. I think... Uh, in a good day, they will have uh, a good fight with uh, France. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I'm sure also from uh, your your as your current now based in Bavaria, you've been also following on uh, Malaysian research, recent World Cup and Asian Cup qualifier. So you know, perhaps maybe you want to briefly share with our listeners. And uh, what's your overall view on Harimalaya's performance uh, in the in the three games against UAE, Vietnam, and Thailand? Yeah, I have seen the three games that they played. First game against UAE, second game against Vietnam, and the last game against uh, uh, Thailand. I would say, I wouldn't say that they were they were not trying. They were trying. Uh, I could see that. Uh, of course, the first two games, uh, disappointment was only the the striker, you know. But the rest of them, I could see that they were trying and uh, they were actually fighting and uh, chasing. But I've, I've mentioned before many times that football is not just about fighting, running, chasing. You see, it is, it is once you win the ball, you must know what to do with the ball. And that's the problem for nation team. They don't know what to do with the ball. And when they are under pressure, they don't know how to get out from tight situation. Mm -hmm. And this is a problem in international games. Against uh, um, UAE. You, well, they you, play you, a you feel team. there's a lack of cohesion, cohesion there among, among the team. Oh, yes. You know, do, do, yeah, do, of course. But, but do you think this is also due to because they, you know, uh, for almost more than a year, these guys have not, you know, played played together as a national team because of COVID and all that. Could that have uh, affected them? Yes and no, because they, mm. they there are nine or nine players, if I'm not mistaken, from JDT. Mm -hmm, yeah, right, nine players. If I'm not mistaken, I can't really remember now. Maybe eight or nine. I don't know. Most of them are JDT players, so they get. <laughs> They, get, they have been playing for maybe two years already as a team or maybe one year as a team. So to get to know each other is not, a, not an issue anymore. It, it's just that they are playing against uh, UAE, which, which are uh, much better than, than us or mm -hmm. much better than Malaysian team in, in terms of quality. Uh, and you can see very glaring that the quality that they have shows to, that's why they won the game, you see, because we don't have that quality. In international level, it's not just good enough to fight, chase, or run. In international games, you need to have both. That means you need to fight. And once you win the ball, you must know what to do with the ball. This is what I've been saying all the time. You must know what to do with the ball. If you don't know what to do with the ball, it is a problem. You must know, you must know how to get out from tight situation. You must know how to, how to uh, build up attack in tight situation. So uh, all this, it is missing. People, people say they are not fighting. No, no, no. The, 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 the commitment are there. The fighting spirits are there. You could see that uh, sometimes due to uh, the over enthusiastic from certain players, they create unnecessary fouls. You see, they, they, they create fouls in, in, in position where it's actually very dangerous. And all, 
Oh, so we can't say that they are not uh, having uh, the right commitment or the spirit for the game. They have. The most important thing is tactically, they are very poor. They create, they, they create uh, 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 very, very basic individual uh, mistakes in, in all the games. And uh, why do I say it? Because sometimes due to too, too enthusiastic to win the ball, you just leave your position. And when you leave your position, that's where you get punished. The, the clearest example is the game against uh, UAE, the second goal, where uh, this, this guy, uh, what is his name? Uh, the, the left fullback from JDT. Robin Ong. Uh, Robin. Yeah. Robin, Robin, Robin Ong. Robin, yeah, Robin, Robin, Ong. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Robin, yeah. He shouldn't leave his position because it is about he, where he was mm -hmm. and where the play, when the player that has the ball is about, I would say, about 10 meters away. 10 meters mm -hmm. is quite far. You don't have to do anything. Furthermore, it's, furthermore, it's uh, far away from, from, from the box. So why do you run out? After all, when you, you, he, he made a decision, he ran out. And the next question is, if, did you win the ball? You didn't win the ball. You didn't win the ball. So the minute you didn't win the ball, you ran out. Uh, I would say blindly, that's where the mistakes created. And once the mistake created, that's where they, get, they got punished, you see. So uh, it, it is not always good to tell your players to, to be aggressive, aggressive. No. no I, uh, to be aggressive, yes. But to understand the situation, it is much better. So that the player understands, if I go out, can I win the ball? If I don't go out, what would happen? So I have to ask questions like this as a player. You know, it is not uh, you, uh, 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 fight, chase, run. This is like buta buta. <laughs> this is um, it's okay with school boys. It's okay with under 16 because they are inexperienced, you see. But in international level, you get punished straight away. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a difference between UAE, Malaysia. Yeah. Mm. And, and, and in, uh, fact, in fact, that, uh, just, just to expand a bit on the UAE game, because uh, that second goal came... Uh, I think if you're not mistaken, the 83rd minute or something like that. So up to that point, uh, you know, Malaysia was still very much at least with a chance in yeah. the game. But 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 yeah. what happened after that goal is they just let go. You see, the last two goals that happened in the injury time, it's yeah. these these are some things like I mean, me mentally, how do these guys pick themselves up or, or be strong in, the, in this thing, uh, Tiong game? Well. There must be a there must be a plan in the game, mm -hmm. you see, from the coach. There must be a plan. I, I don't know what is his plan, you see. And even if if you okay, you say you are too down, you want to go and attack. Yes, you can go and attack. But but when when you you see when the two fullbacks go up and attack, how many of them are behind right now? The two centre backs plus. Uh, Semi, semi kuti, I, I think so. Mm. So you, you leave yourself open, okay? You leave yourself open. So, but there's nobody to, to cover their position. So when you, when you are not covering and you are not marking properly, so the problem starts. If you look at uh, yesterday's game where, where Denmark and, uh, and uh, Denmark and uh, Russia, who, Denmark Russia, and Russia, Russia yeah. You could see, you could see they, they push up the men, but they are, when they are, when Denmark is attacking, even though they are attacking, but they still mark the player behind. They are standing very tight to the mm -hmm. player, to this Russian striker. They, 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 he controls this Russian player because any ball that, that, uh, that there's a transition happen from, from uh, Russia, the, the ball will be played to this striker. So when this striker is being, pressured so or 
disrupted by the defender from, from Denmark, then you, you, you kill the whole transition yeah, from, from defense to offense. But if you give them space, then it's a problem. So this kind, this kind of uh, uh, tactical things uh, must be corrected. And, and it is not just the first, set, not just the second goal. Even the first goal, the first yeah. goal, yeah, is a very simple goal. Very simple, yeah. The, no. the, the way they defend, the way the, the Malaysian defender defend, defend is, is not good. It's, it's just not good because, because they, they must understand whether the coaches, or players must understand the minute the opponent wins the ball and you are staying right now, you are, your line of defense is standing very high up. You can't just stand and hope that there will be offside or something like that. So you have to react. If you don't know how to react, then this kind of ball will come in because this is what most teams are looking at right now. When the defense line is standing quite high, middle of the line, and you don't know how to defend, then it's a problem. And this is what is ha happened in the game. You see? And it's also the, the same, I think, the first goal and the third goal are very uh, identical, if you, if, you, if you understand what I, what I mean. Yeah, mm -hmm. you see? Yeah. yeah. So. But then with the set of... Malay See? But, yeah, then but, the, but then with the set of players, I mean, what, what are expectations? Qualify for World Cup? Just let me let me put the be more realistic in this uh, situation. What what do you say? I, I didn't hear you. No, with the set of players they have, uh, do we really expect them to qualify to World Cup or even to next round with the group or UAE or even Vietnam? Isn't this uh, just achievement by itself? Or all these things, you know, this mistake like mentioning earlier, is it a translation? As a nation or even as a league, we have to take over as steps to towards a, a bigger picture in the hope in the future we can learn and adapt to it. Well, if they learned and uh, learned from uh, from the mistakes, then maybe we have a good chance. Hmm. But then, of course, um, this is everybody. I mean, as a coach, you 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 always want to play at the highest highest level. That is the World Cup, you see. Hmm. But. Uh, Are we really you, you must see, you must you, you must see the quality of the players, hmm. yeah, and the quality of the uh, naturalized players. They are not the best players that we have. They are just slightly better than our local bo local boys. Slightly better. That's it. All these players that are playing in Malaysia right now, right these naturalized players. You see, if they are good, if they are good, they will be playing where they, where, where they come from. If they are from Brazil or Argentina, they will be playing there. Yeah. And if they are better, they will go to America. Uh, uh, they will go to Europe. That's where football is happening. And those who are not, who who about to retire, they will go to Japan. In Asia, mm. Japan is the interesting uh, uh, place for players that are about to retire. So Malaysian, whoever comes to Malaysia, these are players that nobody knows them. Nobody knows them. And they are, I said the quality is just slightly above our local players. Slightly above. That's it. They perform well in the local league because... because the level is, is not there. Mm. So that is why they are outstanding. Yeah. And when you see they play against Southeast Asian strong teams, you can see they are just like any other ordinary players in Southeast Asia. I mean, when they are playing for Malaysia against Vietnam, Malaysia against uh, Thailand, they are just ordinary. Can you see any any difference? Did they make any difference for the formulation team? Hmm. Can you see it? 
Is, is there any outstanding players from these uh, naturalized players? I would say as of now, um, only Sumari, I believe, that is really made a, somewhat of an impact for the national team as of now, if you consider him as a naturalized football player. But as for others, you know, it still remains to be seen because, you know, they are still new to the setup and whether, you know, in, in, you know it's still very, in, it's still early to predict whether, you know, are they good or not. I mean, that's just my opinion on it, Coach. Um, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, but, uh, well, sum, sum, what is in Sumar, Sumaras? Yes, Sumaras. Sumari. Yeah. Sumari. Sumari. Sum, yes. Sumari. Sumari has been playing for Malaysia for already quite some time, right? Yeah, he's got, he's got about 22 caps. Since 2013. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 You, you, you could see that he was already uh, quite uh, uh, used to the way how we play or how our national team plays. Mm -hmm. but, but can you see any difference in the, in the national team uh, in this tournament in, uh, in, in uh, UAE? Yeah. My my question is: Can you see any different? Yeah, can you see any different uh, about this uh, the Paula or or or, or who is the other one? Uh, Lily Lily Don. Don. Lily yeah, Don. yeah. yeah. Mm. You know, yeah. my opinion is my opinion is give to the local boys, let them play. You see, this for it foreign players, they are slightly better than our boys. Player like Shafiq, is it Shafiq? Shafiq from uh, JDT2. Yes. You give, him, you give him the exposure. What they need right now is exposure. Expose, expose them in these high-level games. Expose them. Shafiq, I would say Shafiq. I was very impressed with that boy. Yes. Nas, Nasmi, is it Nasmi? Nasmi, his name? Nasmi? Uh, Nas, Nas, As, uh, Nasmi, midfield? Yes. Midfield player, Nasmi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah? Nasmi. Yeah. Ak, yeah, Akia. What is his name? Akia. Yeah. Akia. Oh, Akia. Yeah. Akia. Yeah. Akia. Yeah. Akia. Akia. Yeah. So, yeah. Akia. Uh, they are, they, they are as good as all these foreign players. Believe me, they are as good. They need only exposure. Expose them. The more you play against high-level teams, yes, the better you will be. But if you don't give the local boys, Lokman, Lokman, or Arif Ayman, all the young boys, a chance to play, and you give all these foreigners to play, yes, what guarantees do you have that, say, that says that you will do well? Do you, do you think before this, before the World Cup qualification with these foreign players, do you think that they can qualify for the World Cup? Yeah. So right now, the answer is no. So they use the foreign players. Our local boys are sitting on the bench. They came in against Thailand. They proved that they are valuable to the team. Yeah. I would say use Shafiq as a top striker. This boy has good quality, very good quality. It's just that whether you know how to use him or not. Yes. And also... Uh, Arif Ayman, yes. The second game against uh, against uh, Vietnam, he came in, he did something good for the team. Mm. But you see, when you put him the last game in the beginning, he could not perform. Then you must understand why he, he can't perform. Mm -hmm. This boy is just 18 years old. You don't start someone just came into the national team in the beginning. The pressure is totally different. You must put him again in the second half. Let him play in the second half. Use someone who is experienced to do that. You see, so that he will, he will, he will. That the pressure is not there for him. When you go in as a, a reserve, the pressure is this, totally different as you go in from the beginning. 
Yes. And also because, yes, why the first two games they, 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 didn't, they didn't perform is because of the pressure. Our boys didn't perform because the pressure is too great. Some players just couldn't perform. Yes. Only the last game you can see they perform better. They work better. Why? Because there's nothing to lose. So what does it tell you all this? It means our boys for international games, they are not comfortable with the pressure. So what do you what do you need to do? Expose them. How do you expose them? Play against good teams. That's it. Is it not good enough just to play in the M League? Because the level is very low. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course they don't want to hear all this. FAM would not like to hear all this. But this is a fact. You see? You could see Shapawi played very well in the league, but Shapawi was struggling against uh, UAE, against uh, Vietnam. Why he was struggling? Because it's different level. Why, why uh, 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 the other player, what is him? Uh, the Shapawi on the, on the right and the other on the left was uh, um, who, who plays, for, plays for JDT also. Sumare, yes, Sumare, yep. yes, Sumare. Mm -hmm. Sumare is uh, uh, was was also a fantastic player in the M League, right? But you could see he, he was struggling. The Paula was also struggling. Iridon was struggling. So you must ask yourself why, why they were struggling. But 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 for the Vietnam. <clears throat> For the Vietnam game coach, I think they they did not bad. It's just that I think they were unlucky that that penalty was not supposed supposed to happen, right? It was a blatant dive by the Vietnamese. No, player. no, no, no. You no, think no. so? No, no. He, he stepped on his. Uh, he he didn't step, but he while he was running to the ball, mm -hmm. he accidentally touched his uh, his the leg uh, his back leg. That's it. He he, he touches him. Yeah, I mean, of course, we can't reverse yeah. uh, any decision and all that. But but I I mean, for me personally, I, I I don't feel the gap between us and Vietnam. Yeah, Vietnam is definitely a much stronger team than 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 what what they were before. But we are not that far off. And of course, like what you say just now, also you know, uh, when there is no pressure, these guys perform against Thailand. Right. Yeah. So so yeah. In, within within Southeast Asia. Um, our, would would you think that our level have increased, or we are still, or or or, or you feel that we are still uh, behind, you know, quite there's quite yeah, a big gap between see, us and Vietnam. Yeah. No. When you are talking about Southeast Asian football, mm -hmm. C games, C yeah, C C Southeast Asian teams, they are, in a good day Malaysia will beat Vietnam. In a good day Vietnam will beat Malaysia. In a good day Malaysia will beat Thailand. In a good day, Thailand will beat Malaysia. Yeah. So, so it is very equal. It all depends on whether that day they are in a good form mm -hmm. or not. But mm -hmm. that does not justify that you are stronger than Vietnam. That does not justify that you are stronger than uh, Thailand. It is very equal. It is all depends on on who who who. Who, who are having a good day mm. who, who shows up on during the day. match day. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But, it, but this is Southeast Asia only you're talking about. We are only, this, do you want to stay only in Southeast Asia? No, Don't you want to not. move to yeah, the next yeah. level? Yeah. yeah. But we are talking about only this. We are only talking about uh, uh, Vietnam. Yeah. No. We have to judge ourselves right now. We have, to, we have to look at a little bit further. That means no, we want to go higher. That means we have to look at uh, 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 the, the Middle East team yeah? or, 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 or China, Japan, all this area. We have to get out from this uh, mindset. You know, it's, it's not just good. If you think it is good enough to beat Thailand, it's good enough to beat uh, Vietnam, then it is good enough then. But not for me, you see, because we, we have to uh, set our 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 uh, goal higher than that. 
and everybody must work according to the goal. Only then we can improve if we are just looking at Singapore, all this. We beat Thailand before, we beat Vietnam before, but we, you know, it, there's nothing much. There's nothing much. And, mm -hmm. and if we talk about, if we, if we talk about uh, 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 neutralization of players, mm -hmm. yes, Singapore doesn't need before. And you look at Singapore right now. Of course, with, uh, with these uh, players that we have right now, yeah, with foreign players, we were in AFF. But do you think is that enough? Will that be enough for Malaysian football? So whether you win AFL with uh, foreign players will be a success or it, it is a success for FAM, then, then so be it. But, no, then, I, I but think, must... yeah, yeah. Sorry, Bala. Oh, sorry. No, I just want to say, okay, I think since uh, uh, Mr. Lin Tong came talking about we need to go beyond. So I think one of the steps we can take is basically Malaysia's league become a feeder club like what uh, what happening like Ajax or even some French club actually you now became a feeder club and even France would take example they won the World Cup with a lot of feeder clubs only exception of PSG what actually takes Malaysia league to be feeder club just say even a Japan second division team what, what actually does it take is it more marketing or is it our players what, what? Need, to, need to improve further What what's what does it mean to go beyond wherever they are? Beyond means, for me, beyond means, you have to work on youth. The youth is the future of Malaysian football. As long as the youth, youth football is not properly done, the next Bala or, 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 or Elvin and... Uh, sorry. Steven. Uh, Steven. 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 Yeah. Steven. The next one, uh, the next, the next one. So maybe after ten years later, <laughs> and someone will be taking my place and talk about Malaysian football. You see, because it 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 goes to show, or rather, the experience from what Singapore did, or maybe Hong Kong did, maybe ten years ago, fifteen years ago. You can see right now what is happening to Singapore football, Hong Kong football. You know, oh, when Singapore did this with neutralization, they won the AFF Cup. Yeah, maybe for them it's something big, something good, but it is nothing. It is nothing. You see, yeah, you but have okay. to, yeah, carry on. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I uh, know. What, what I wanted to say was, uh, then shouldn't the 2023 uh, Asian Cup then be the benchmark? That, that, that would, would that be a real true benchmark then for Malaysia? Because since now they no, are already... You, also... you, you see, you, I understand your, your, your point, hmm. but you cannot say you, hmm. you want to build a team it is only three, four years. No way. No way you can build a team this way. Yeah? You want to build a team? 10 years, 10 years, all these young players like Nazmi, uh, Ik, Ik, what is it, Ik, Ik, Ak, Akia, Akia, Akia yeah. Shafiq, the rest of them, like Kool, uh, what is his name, uh, Davis, the other guy uh, from the left, the left fullback, get young players, build around them and work for 10 years. Then you can talk about Asian Cup, World Cup, if you just talk about two, three years, up, you know, one year, two years, three years, and when, and, and, and when there's no success, you, you just chuck in everything. No, it's not that way. Yeah, you, you, you can't, no, if you want to build a good, strong team, you must give the coach ample time. Yeah. You know? But the problem in Malaysia is, there's no patience. They want success immediately. Why do you think they, they, they want uh, foreign players right now? Why? Why, why do you think they, they want foreign players playing in the league, right, uh, in the in national team right now? Why? Instant, For what? Instant success. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. No way you, 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 you can have instant success in football. 
Real Madrid had the best uh, players before in 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 in, in uh, Champions yeah. League. They, they didn't win anything, also. You see, so mm. you you need time. You have to give them time. Yeah, and all all all, all these players need time, also. Yeah, you know. Right. I would say we go for you know all those uh, heritage players. It's okay, heritage players. No way, no problem. Heritage players, but why, why, why give someone? Uh, why, why take foreign players? Why, why, why don't you? Why, why FAM is giving all these foreign players a, a chance to play? They, they don't believe in our local boys. Why don't they believe in our local boys? Yeah, why? Because instant success for who? Instant success. Why, why? Instant success. Nobody asks you. Nobody tell them you must win this. No friends tell you must win this. You must win that. No, you know. Be be brave enough. Have the courage enough to say, "Yeah, we are building this team for ten years with young players." Work with them. Yeah. Of course, the first two years you will lose because these are young players. Young players, you need to to nurture nurture them. Yeah. Okay. Just like you see. You you could see young players like 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 uh, Ayman. It's not that he he can't play football. He can play football, and he plays better football because he's more more offensive. Yeah, and and Lokman also, but Lokman, I, I'm sorry for him because he played in a very uh, different position, a position where he's not comfortable. So he's not a, a left-sided player. A Lokman is a central player. Lokman needs to, to move left, right, front, back. He's, he, he's a, a, a false, false, a false, nine. false nine. Yeah, false nine. You see? Yeah. So, and you, you put him somewhere and uh, you're just uh, waste, wasting his talent. Of course, he will not perform. You, I, I saw him running, running around like a crazy fella and end up as a fullback. <laughs> yes, fullback. Okay. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you know? Yeah, Bala, yeah. you're something, yeah. Yeah, so I think this comes to interference, right? I think earlier you also mentioned that you wanted to share something on the interference in coaching. Maybe I think this is the perfect yeah. opportunity for you to elaborate more on this area. Yeah, interfering of coaching is, I hope that... Uh, uh, Tan Cheng Ho got a free hand to, to, to give to 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 use players that he feel these players deserve a chance to play. You see, he's, I hope he's not a, a marionette. Yeah, someone else is telling him to do, to do, to put this player, to put that player, to, to use these players. He has to be uh, given a free hand to choose his lineup. Nobody should interfere in his lineup. You employ him as a, as a, as a coach, you must give him a free hand to, to work, to work with, 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 with people he, he feel it is right to play. So it must be this way because you interfere, you interfere in his job, yes? His head is on the chopping block not someone who is interfering. It's some, some people that is interfering in his job. The minute you lose the game, he's the first one to run away. He's not going to say, uh, 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 he's not going to uh, uh, save, save you from your chopping block, you see. But they interfere. And I know this kind of things happen in Malaysia. And I did, I'm dead sure some people are interfering in his job. Yeah. He has to be strong enough to say, don't enter him. Because at the end of the day, you have to take responsibility as a coach. You. Because those people that interfere will just leave, leave you alone. Once, if, if you win, they are the first, pe first people to come and uh, pat your, your shoulder. And these are the first people to be interviewed also. Yeah. This is nation football, you see. Once you lose, they just leave you alone. So the responsibility lies in your hand. 
So he has to be strong enough to tell these people, don't interfere. Very simple. You are the leader. As a coach, you are the leader. You have to put down, you have to be strong. Uh, how how do you feel uh, Tan Cheng Ho has performed so far, Tiong Kim, as the as the Malaysian coach in, in terms of uh, you know, of course, results is one thing. What 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 about him as a person, his character as a as a head coach and all that? Cheng, Cheng Ho, Tan Cheng Ho, mm. when I was playing for Kedah, he was also there. He was also there. Mm-hmm. So I I I only know him as a player. Okay. You see? And Cheng Ho is a nice person. He will, he will even he will never even hurt a, a, an an ant. Yeah, he looks like a really nice guy. So, do you think he's been strong <laughs> so, arm? He's been strong arm into making some decisions. He, he, you know, he doesn't want to and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Then I mean, it's up to him. Mm-hmm. But I know very well he's 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 you see to be a coach or to be a football player. Football players, they have two faces. A coach has two faces also. Any sportsman, we have two faces. Any sportsman. You know, the mm-hmm. sportsman, the uh, coach, when you are, when you are working, when you are normal coaching, when you are outside, I mean, in public, you are totally different. And when you, I mean, in public or with your friends, you are totally different. You see? So, so you must, you must have this this uh, this uh, uh, character when you're a coach you make sure that nobody should interfere you that's it you know and you you can you don't have to fight with anybody just tell him how you feel that's it but you have to tell these people because they if you don't draw the line they will they will just, they don't know where the line is, you see. You just mm-hmm. have to tell these people. Yeah. yeah. Only yeah. then they would understand, oh, I cannot uh, interfere. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. it, actually, it is wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and Tiong Kim, you know, uh, what roles, you know, would you like uh, our media here to ideally play, you know, for the betterment of Malaysian football, you know? Is there any piece of advice you would like to share, you know, with regards to how influential or you would like Malaysian media to be in terms of football? Yeah. Okay. Okay. This media. Mm-hmm. I think they have to watch more football, international <laughs> football to understand, <laughs> to understand football. <laughs> yeah, to understand football. That's that right. Uh, not, not necessary. Not necessary. When someone score goals, that means he's a good player. Mm-hmm. No, is this is too simple. Too simple to to say someone is good. It's too simple. I would encourage them or uh, advise them to watch European Championship right now, and you see and you judge yourself. What does it classify a player that is good? How do you classify them? You know that is good. What do they do? How do how do they how do they uh, 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 defend if they are a defender? How do they attack when they are attacker? Or how do they uh, uh, go up into attack when they are they are they, even though they are defender and they go up into attack? You you see their roles, but but to just to just to praise someone, uh, uh, you know, just just because uh, he scores a goal and and all this this is. And you were spoiled, especially you were spoiled a young player, you know, like Ayman right now. He played a, a second half, a good game, you know, and, and say how uh, uh, praise him. It's too much, you know, too much. You saw, you, you see what happened the next game. Yeah, Ayman, second game against uh, uh, Thailand. It was nothing, right? Mm-hmm. So just just leave him alone, because mm-hmm. just leave him alone. You know, don't 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 have to. Yeah, just say he played it well. That's it. Don't have to praise him so much until he. It is young players. They 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 don't know how to how to how handle all this kind of uh, 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 praise. Mm. 
Yeah, they can't. They don't know how to handle pressure. They don't know how to handle all these praises from praises from from media or, or also uh, from uh, uh, Twitter or, or all this. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, social media. They don't know. You see, they get carried away easily. So, so to protect these boys, young players. They, they must protect these boys. If not, it will be just, you know, they will, they will not perform anymore. They, if you all are happy about Shapawi's performance, then well and good. You see? But how... You could how, see Shapa the, the Germany, how does it handle this kind of situation? How, you know, okay, I, let me tell you this. You see, I, I, let, me, let me tell you this. Players like uh, uh, young players like like uh, uh, Tony Kroos when he was playing for Bayern Munich, yeah, yeah. he played well. Immediately, all the all the press was uh, uh, eager to interview him, uh, you know. And what the early Hernes did, he didn't allow this boy to be interviewed. This mm. is how you protect young players. You see. You must protect young players from 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 being being exposed to media too 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 early too soon. They get carried away. Yeah, it gets to you their see? head. Yeah. Yeah, you see, mm. they get carried away, and when once they get carried away, that's where, for their future, it's very difficult for them to perform better because they get carried away, right? So so. People must understand, yes, or coaches or officials must protect all these boys, protect them from media. Yeah, that's what I I I I I, I would like to see these kind of things happening from from the association. Protect young players. You know, media can say, okay, we want to interview this player. We say no. Tell them no. Finish. You see? Because before the media could uh, interview him, he has to go through FAM officials, right? Media. This is the procedure. They want to interview these because the media cannot go direct to, to, to the players. Mm -hmm. They have to go through the uh, FAM media section. So the media section will say no. Or the media section will speak to the coach or, or the officials. The officials can always say no. Yeah. Mm. But if you don't, then it will be a problem for young players. Yeah. In the DFB, DFB will be uh, DFB is doing all this to young mm. players. They protect young players. So they serve as a gatekeeper to to. Yeah, of to, course. Mm, yeah. yeah. They the 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 the. the they have, uh, or the associate, association press speaker will give interview on behalf of the player. Yeah. This is how it has been done. Because too early to expose these young players to the press. It might be good, it might not be good. But in, in Malaysian context, you could see many, uh, in the, uh, many, many young players couldn't couldn't uh, take the pressure. Yeah, they get carried away, and that's the end of their career. Yeah, mm -hmm. you the, the media made them to be superstars, and that's it. Yeah, and and they hardly play. They hardly play uh, three years, four years for the national. And that's it. The, uh, their uh, their career in international team is finished. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so basically, you know, me. I mean, the every party has to play a certain part of role in order to help Malaysian exactly. football move forward. I mean, exactly. media, media has their role, association has their role, league has their role, players, and even exactly. fans, fans like us also, we have our role, which is to continue yeah. give that support that exactly the football players and national team deserve. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. that will be ideal. To, to, to develop young players. 
Yeah. But to talk about uh, the development of football, right? So you have seen what happened in, in, uh, in uh, UAE. You have seen. You have seen foreign players playing for Malaysia and still we still can't achieve good success, mm -hmm. especially playing against uh, uh, not Saudi Asian team. For me, Saudi Asian team, are e we are equal. Mm -hmm. yeah, Thailand, they are very equal. The, the standards are very uh, uh, almost the same level. All depends on who, who is having a good day. Mm -hmm. that will win the game. Yeah. But the next level, you have to see the next level right now. And as long as, as long as our young players are not given a chance to play, yes, the consequence will be in the future will be very, very bad for Malaysian football. Mm -hmm. It is, this is what happened to Singapore. You could see once the, the foreign players left, you could see what is happening right now to Singapore. So, because these young players need, need exposure, international exposure, not just play Thailand, Indonesia, uh, Philippines, or no, next level, next level. You have to go out, play against South, uh, okay, Middle East team, play against Japan, play against China, Japan, uh, uh, Korea. You see, you, you will get beaten for sure, but it doesn't matter. It's That's where you place. learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you learn. But if you move around uh, Southeast yeah. Asia, then you don't know. Because for me, the level is all the same. You, yeah? It, yeah. You that, see, that, you, you, hmm? The yeah, Vietnam no, the, the, game you can see very clearly. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the thing is so 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 you're suggesting like FAM to organize friendlies or you know with, with all these stronger stronger countries, right? Uh yeah, of course they, they this this would be something interesting, but you know, I think up I mean within FAM circles as well, it they would probably want to avoid a very big defeat, you know, or something like that because, they, you know, they, this thing can backfire on them. Yeah, one thing is exposure. Another thing is, uh, you know, facing a very heavy defeat and all that, right? I think this is what yeah. is ham hampering, uh, uh, perhaps, you know, just, just my take on it to, to, for them to arrange uh, matches against stronger teams. Perhaps. So then, then, then if they are... Uh, if they feel embarrassed mm. for the defeat, then leave FAM. You are not the, they are not the right people for this kind of job because to develop players, you need to expose them. You see? Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if, you, if, you, if you have been following football uh, development from, from uh, uh, Austria, Denmark, Finland, Yes, then you would understand that all these countries that I've just mentioned before, they, they, they were beaten also badly. Yeah, beating boys. See, against yeah. strong yeah. team. Yeah, they, yeah, but then you have to do something. Yeah. The federation must do something. What do I do then? If I'm, if I'm in, the, in the federation, what do I do? I will make sure that I have, I built a strong youth development. I make sure that all the clubs must have proper youth development. By using just foreign players, this is a quick fix. And this quick fix will not uh, assure you there will be success in 2023. You see? The next one, the next competition, Asian Cup, Asian Cup if I'm not mistaken, right? 2023. Yes. Yes. Am I right? Yes. 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 That's right. Uh, yeah. So I heard they, they're going to use two more foreign players. One from Penang, another one from uh, JDT, I think. Yeah. Yes. What, what guarantee can they give to Malaysian football fans that with these two more players, Malaysia will qualify for the final? What, what guarantees can they give the football fan in Malaysia? Yeah. Why don't they start clean with young players 
give them the opportunity to gain this exposure. Tell the fan, we are building a new team with young players. That's it. What's the problem? Yeah. Is it because lack of know-how, perhaps? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, of course. Lack of know-how, lack of knowledge, expertise, all this. And these people, they want instant success. That is why uh, uh, TMJ came out and said, I'll take the management. If, if you give me the man- team, I'll take and I manage the team. But don't expect to win, to win or to, to, to gain success immediately, you know. But he will make sure that the performance will be good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But FAM, uh, these people in FAM, they don't want good performance. They want to win. You see, who doesn't want to win? Everybody wants to win. But you must understand that first you must develop quality players. Football looks very simple, but it's very, very difficult. Very difficult. This game is a very difficult game. It is not just uh, 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 about, oh, the boys are fighting, the boys are running, the boys are chasing. You have people in FAM saying, the, the, especially the, the, the young team that is playing in the, in the second division right now, they say, oh, the boys are fighting, chasing, running, you know. And, and the vice president says, yeah, they came back from, uh, 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 from, from uh, uh, two nail defeat, uh, two, two nail uh, uh, first half, second half, they came back with two, two, and they are happy with this. Well, if these football people say, these are football people who are saying they are happy with this, then I'm telling you all, I'm very sorry. If this is the case, that means our football players knows just how to fight, chase, and run. But immediately when they are in ball possession, they just don't know what to do. And they will say, here, I have just won the ball to the opponent. I give it to you. You get, take the ball <laughs> and let me run again. <laughs> this is not football. Yeah. yeah. You, have, you, you must teach. You must. Okay. Running, fighting, chasing, these are requirements. These are just requirements. Mm-hmm. But you need skills. You need skill. You need knowledge. Tactical knowledge to understand how to keep the ball, how to get away from opponents. If you don't know all this, if you don't have all this, then you can't win games. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. You can't win games. To win games, you need more than just fighting, chasing, running. To, to win, you, you need more than that. Yeah, You could see in Euro, everybody is chasing, everybody is fighting, all teams are fighting, all teams are chasing. But the minute when they have the ball, they know what to do with the ball. You see, this is the most crucial thing. Because fighting, chasing, running, this is just the, the requirement of the game. It's just a requirement. It's just like if you're a football player, you want to play football, you must have jerseys, you must have boots, you must have socks, you must have shorts to play the game. And now FIFA says you must wear shin pads to play the game. This is just the requirement. Mm-hmm. But what about winning the game? Mm-hmm. Just to have shin pads, boots, jerseys, socks doesn't guarantee you that you win the game, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, too. Yeah. True. True. yeah so, so they have to think about this. And if our technical director says, Oh, it's good that they fight, chase, and, and then I'm sorry. This, this is uh, what level are you talking about right now? You know, what level are you talking about? If you are just talking about it is good to fight, chase, run. Mm-hmm. For me, it's too little. Mm-hmm. It's just too little. Then you will have problems. Once these boys become national players, senior team, it's back to square one. Mm-hmm. Okay. You see, if you look at Vietnamese players in tight situation, they mm-hmm. know how to solve problems. Mm-hmm. So, Vietnamese players are also fighting, chasing, running. Vietnamese, Thailand are also fighting, chasing, running. But who, who are more, uh, who, who has a, the ability to do something with the ball? You have to watch this. 
you have to watch during these Euros, Champions, European Championship. You can see very clearly teams that know how to use the ball most of the time will win the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, definitely, definitely, we will yeah. be paying more more attention on this aspect of the game. Definitely, for sure. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You should see all this because these are these are tactical points that coaches have to look at. Mm -hmm. Not just fighting, chasing, running. No, these are just requirements of the game. Yeah. Okay. All right. By the way, guys, uh, any last questions from yourself, Elwin and Bala? Uh, no, no, nothing for me. I just uh, want to thank uh, Tiong Kim for joining us today for another great show. Tiong Kim, yep. thank you very I much. Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, similar for me too, uh, Mr. Tiong Kim. Uh, really appreciated your time and uh, thanks once again. You are still alive, so that's more important. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. Yeah, all right, all right. Uh, yeah. Okay, I mean, any, any last words from yourself, uh, Mr. Tiong Kim? No, nothing, nothing. Yeah. Oh, nice talking to all of you. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, your, your your our previous episode with you, of course, it was uh, an eye opener. We hope this episode is uh, will also serve as uh, as another eye eye opener to all our listeners out there. So, uh, with that said, you know, we will end this week's episode of the Polar Polar Show. Goodbye for now, and thank you for listening. Mm -hmm.